Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. His mercies endure it forever. His mercies took us all through last week and brought us back here this morning. Is God not faithful? Somebody who believes that God is faithful, can you give him a loud shout? Glory, glory, glory. Awesome God. Divine revelation is the access to supernatural blessing. You cannot go faster than you can see. The better you see, the faster you go in life. It takes light, illumination for you to see. The moment darkness comes, even though you have your two eyes open, you see nothing. Even if you try to imagine and see certain things, you can't see details. And it takes seeing details for you to take action. If you turn your Bible with me this morning to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Deuteronomy chapter 1, 6 and 7. The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Question, why? Why have they stayed this long around the mountain? Because they can't see their way out. He said, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. For it has not entered into the heart of a man. No eyes have seen it. What God has prepared for those who love him. You have stayed around a particular situation. And the reason is you have no divine revelation. Which gives you insight. Which provokes a new action. A new process. To get out of the place. And so God said to them, you have stayed too long. And I've, I'm saying the same thing to someone here. You have stayed too long. It is time for you to move. If I hear you say amen. amen. You have stayed too long around that situation. Around that mountain. Around that circumstance. You have stayed too long. And, and in verse 7 he said to them. Turn you. And take your journey. Look at somebody by your side and say, it's time to move. Ladies and gentlemen, what makes you to move is what you see. If you don't see, you are not moving. What makes you move? Don't tell me that they were too comfortable by the mountain. No, they wanted to move, but they don't know which way. A 
in the book of Psalm 32, verse 8. I'm coming back to this verse 7. The book of Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. Can I hear somebody say, Lord, I'm ready. He said, I will instruct thee. And I will teach thee that is a way you should go. For you to maximize your presence and maximize the opportunity and the time you live on earth, there is a way to go. And God said, I will instruct you. And I will teach you because you don't know. Now, back to Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7. I want to show you something here. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7. He says, Turn ye and take your journey. Please take note. And go to the mountain of Amorites. One. And unto the places near thereunto. There is a place in the mountain. There is also a place near you. There is also a place in the plain. There is also a place by the hills. There is a place by the valley. There is a place in the south. There is a place in the seaside to the land of the Canaanites and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, river Euphrates. In other words, there are places. Look at somebody and say, there are places. There are places your treasure is kept. Some are on the mountain. Some are on the hills. A hill is not a mountain. Some are so close to you. Some are in the valley. Some are by the seaside. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes divine revelation to see them. Otherwise, you will think that there is nothing available. And that's why he said to them, you are just staying in this one provision that I have made. Have you looked into the mountain? Have you looked at the hills? Have you looked at the sea? Have you seen the plain ground? Have you looked around yourself? Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, a week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it everyone that has made outstanding impact in life saw something that others didn't see in your profession, in your career, in the kind of business you are doing, whoever is making fantastic progress in that business knows what you don't know. Simple. That we read the same course in the university and graduated with the same grade does not make us equal, does it? No. That is why one is succeeding, the other one is not succeeding. Even the one that has a better certificate is not. Why? This one knows what he does not know. My prayer for you this morning is that whatever is covering your inner eyes, let it be taken away in the name of Jesus. Divine revelation 
accessing supernatural blessing through divine revelation. The reason why people discard relationship and you cut off because you were hurt, because somebody offended you, you then you dismiss the person is because of your short-sightedness. As long as you can see beyond that present situation, you are ready to cut off. And do you know what happens? Sometimes we cut off relationships that are packaged for us in the next five years. Only for you to get to the next five years, the person you say, I will never talk with him, I will never talk with her, is the person sitting on the seat. So what will you do then? You want to hear my prayer for you this morning? I bow my knees and I pray for you. May you not destroy the relationship that will better your life in the next five years. God will answer this prayer. There is a relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, relationship is not easy to maintain, but you need to keep it. <laughs> I need to give me a second, Peter. Think second Peter, please. Give me a second Peter. Chapter one. Second Peter chapter one, verse three. Look at this. According as his divine power. Can I hear somebody say divine power? Has given unto us all, all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Look at that scripture. His divine power has given unto us. How many things? Come on, how many things? That pertain to what? Physical existence and godliness. All are provided. Everything that will cause us to live, fulfill life here, physically and spiritually. But it is only available. Through what? The knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. So the key of divine revelation is knowing the one that has called us. Many people are born again. I do not doubt that. Many people are filled with the Holy Ghost. I do not doubt that. But many people do not know Jesus. Are you here? Yes, sir. It takes the knowledge of him to assess all he has provided. That's why Paul prayed and said, I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding be flooded with what? Light. That you may know. Paul talking in Philippians, he said, that I may know him. 
He said, I count all things but dung that I may know him. Many are born again. But many people are not converted. Born again is a different thing than being converted. Conversion is moving you from a particular set of life you have lived to a new set of life. It takes knowing him for, for you to be converted. The people claim that I'm born again and I know the Lord. They live like Judas. If they have opportunities to steal, they will steal. Many are born again. Their old life is still with them. They dress like Holy Mary in the church on Sunday morning and dress like Delilah by Friday night. Thank you. She told me Friday night. Are you here? They lie without any recourse to God. They lie. They lie. And the Bible says all liars will go to hell. They don't care. They lie. Their telephone helped them to lie. Where are you? I said, I'm just by Ogbo Road. The person saying Ogbo Road is at Ogbo. Like lie, lie, lie news. Look at somebody and said, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny.